So you've promised yourself it's time to get that IT certification, whether it's your first or next. But maybe you've been putting it off for a while. 2020 is the year to go for it. Hi, I'm Cherokee Boos, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'll show you how to plan to earn that IT certification by setting a SMART goal. So how are you going to accomplish earning your IT certification this year? Well, first off, Happy New Year. 2020 is going to be a fresh start to not only a new year, but a fresh start to an entire decade. So let that sink in for a second. I mean, you have an opportunity to take control and design a beautiful life for yourself. Hashtag best life. But you're not gonna get there on good feelings alone. It's your job to set and accomplish goals to give you the life you want. Feeling encouraged? Great. I can't even tell you how many times I've been approached by individuals asking certification questions. And you know what? We have videos right here on this YouTube show outlining some of those questions. However, because it's New Year's, I wanted to spend some time talking about goal setting and how it relates to certification exams. You may have heard a version of Napoleon Hill's quote, a goal is a dream with a deadline. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of turning that dream into a goal using the SMART goal methodology. But before we jump into that, I wanna remind you the difference between a goal and a task. Now these two terms are used often interchangeably, but for our conversation, we need to understand the difference. Let's look at an example. Like maybe we want to go spend a lovely day at the beach. That sounds really nice, doesn't it? I think it's the perfect goal. But how do we get there? I mean, I'm going to need fuel, uh, transportation, perhaps even directions. And then I need to think about, well, do I want to go alone? Do I want to bring the family? What about the dog? Do I need to hire a dog sitter? And then what should I bring? Sunscreen? Towels? Drinks? Definitely. I mean, it's tasks that collaboratively work together to allow me to reach my goal, which is getting to the beach or having a nice day at the beach, right? So the tasks that we just mentioned don't accomplish anything independently, but when they're done together in the right order, I could be sunning my buns in no time. By the way, if you wanna learn more about SMART goals and other decision-making techniques, check out my Lean Agile project management course with Dr. Tara Van Zant Stern on itpro.tv. In the context of certification exams, the vendor sets these goals for us, meaning they tell us what defines a pass or a fail but it's up to us to decide on what exams are best in line with our career trajectory, which can be quite a task on its own. Not sure where to get started in IT? Don't worry, we have dedicated this entire YouTube show to help you decide. Head to the playlist and explore videos like Wes's video on the five fastest growing fields in IT, and it might help you decide your career path as well as your certification path, and also, if you're a member of IT Pro TV, don't forget that you do have access to a learning coach who can help you find resources and really just help you map out and plan your certification path. But getting back to goals, what if your goal isn't quite as exciting? How do you stay motivated to prevent yourself from falling into the pit of despair? Earlier I mentioned SMART goals. Spending time to write them out and set deadlines is key to keeping you motivated and on task to accomplish them. So let's break down how to set a SMART goal. S stands for specific. Finding what you need for a certification is usually pretty specific. I mean, you can go directly to the vendor to find out what, will, what it will take for you to earn that certification. It may be a series of exams, a project, or maybe a combination or mix. And this is going to look different from vendor to vendor. So don't be surprised, just do your research and plan ahead and look for that information. So for example, to obtain Microsoft, your Microsoft Azure Administrator certification or role, you need to pass the AZ-103 exam, all right? Let's move on to M. M stands for measurable, and this one isn't difficult to adhere to either because again, the information is provided by the vendor. They define what that pass or fail looks like. So using the example of the Azure Administrator course, I know that I will need to get at least 700 points to pass. Moving on, A stands for attainable. And this one is where you really have to be honest with yourself. Is it possible to achieve this goal? Do I have the resources, capability, time, and financial support? I mean, some of these exams can be rather costly. So using our example, this Azure Administrator uh, role, 
Currently, at the time of this recording, it's 165 US dollars. So if finances are a concern for you, that's something you'll need to think about ahead of time as well. Next, R stands for relevant. Will this goal drive you to your ultimate destination or lifestyle? These are the kind of questions that you have to think about, like does this certification fit into your career trajectory? Or is there a need for this certification in the industry? Will this certification serve as a springboard or a pre prerequisite to some other certification that you're looking to attain in the future? Or maybe you gotta ask yourself, going back to our example here, do I even want to be an Azure administrator? So just be honest with yourself for this particular section and you'll be fine. Finally, T stands for time-based. When you set your goal, you really need to set a specific completion date. And you can incorporate smaller deadlines based on your learning style. So for example, I could say, I wanna know all the objectives in domain one by a particular date and then iteratively set specific dates for other, or incrementally, I should say, uh, for other domain topics. So then I can have a final goal of saying, I wanna know all the domain topics by this particular date. And if I wanna assign a particular date to something, we can use some examples here. For instance, if I wanna set my practice exam on March 15th, then I'm gonna go ahead and schedule my real exam for April 15th. So that'll give me a month of buffer time to know if I need to go back and restudy something that I might have done, you know, kind of pour on during that practice exam. So now that you know how to set SMART goals, work on setting your IT certification goals for 2020 and use the resources in this How to Get Started in IT show. They're all in the playlist, so go ahead and check those out. And yes, I understand life happens, but really try to stick to your plan to get yourself to where you wanna be. Share your goals, your goal details with an accountability partner, or you know what, even put them in the comments section here. Just get them out into the universe. Don't worry, you got this. Also, make sure to, to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the educational and fun content we post on the IT Pro TV channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Cherokee Boost, and you're watching How to Get Started in IT.